If you're looking to lose fat, you've probably heard that you need to eat less calories in order to burn fat. And for most people, that sounds like starving, feeling hungry, and kind of complicated. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five easy food swaps that you can make that can save you a ton of calories and help you lose fat. And if you're wondering, why should I listen to you? My name's AJ Quimson. I'm an IFBB pro, professional bodybuilder, and I've been an online coach for the last nine years, helping over 500 people lose fat and build muscle and create their own transformation. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're trying to lose fat is just cutting out a ton of food and eating really small portions and not eating anything good. And I first made this mistake when I got into fitness and I looked like this and I thought that I had to eat chicken breast and brown rice and broccoli and that's all I could eat. And I ended up doing it for a little bit and then I would get fat immediately after because I thought it was so bland and so boring and I just ended up binging. Eating nothing but chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli can help you lose weight, but it's a great way to make sure that you end up hating your diet and then you end up stopping, which means you lose all the progress that you might have made. And it's especially unnecessary if you're just starting your diet and you've been eating whatever you want and you just want to take that first step forward into losing fat. What I like to do for myself and for my clients is instead of just cutting out all of the good food that you like and eating really small portions and starving yourself trying to get it off fast, make easy swaps that save a ton on calories that still keep you full and will help you get that first few pounds off to help you build some momentum in your diet. So the first swap that you can make that is super easy is just watching the amount of oil that you intake. Oil is just the fat and fat has the most amount of calories. It's nine calories per gram and every tablespoon of oil that you have, whether it's olive oil, canola oil, whatever, it's 14 grams of fat per tablespoon. So each tablespoon of oil that you use is 14 grams and 14 times nine is 126 calories. So 126 calories every time you put some oil in the pan to coat it just to cook things. A lot of people are probably using more than a tablespoon. Like you can see here, when I used oil to coat the pan, I ended up using 20 grams, not even 14 grams. So I actually put 180 calories worth of olive oil in the pan, and that's not including any of the food that I actually used it to cook. And you can imagine if you use that once for breakfast, once for lunch, maybe twice for dinner for your protein and your veggies, that's a lot of extra calories that you're not really accounting for. That's five or six tablespoons of oil and it's probably not really making you feel very full. And for most people, if you're trying to lose a pound of fat a week, that's a 3,500 calorie deficit, which is 500 calories per week. You could save 500 calories right there just switching from oil to a nonstick spray like this. There's a lot of nonstick sprays that you can use, but they're not actually zero calories. It's the same oil, but there's just something in there called lecithin that allows it to disperse and not clump up. So you can coat the pan more evenly without using as much oil. So you can't use unlimited amounts, but it will help you save a lot on calories. The second easy way to save on calories is stop drinking your calories. Liquid calories can add up to a lot depending on who you are. If you drink a lot of soda or if you drink a lot of alcohol, alcohol is another story, but liquid calories really add up. Like you can see here, a small amount of juice is a pretty good amount of carbs. You know, this, this one's 150 grams. There's some that are more. And if you're a big soda person, I don't have real soda in the house, but one can of Coke is 50 grams of carbs. That's 200 calories just for one little soda. This little Martinelli's apple cider is 30 plus grams of sugar, which is 30 plus grams of carbs. And it's a pretty small serving. I would normally drink a couple glasses of that during Thanksgiving or Christmas. And those can really add up if you're not worried about it. What you can do instead is switch to diet soda. And diet soda is zero calories for the same size can of soda. It, it, may, it might taste slightly different, but you still get the soda and you still get the bubbles and it tastes pretty good You know, once you get used to it. I actually think that the Coke Zero tastes better than the normal Coke. And you can also use lower calorie drinks like Gatorade Zero, the sugar-free body armor, or you can use the little flavoring drops and squirt it into your water. But if you're drinking two or three cans of soda a day, three cans of soda is 150 grams of carbs. That's 600 calories. That's another pound of fat lost throughout the week if you just cut that out. The third way that you can easily save on calories is just using leaner cuts of meat. You don't have to eat less meat, you could just use leaner cuts because the fattier cuts of meat are gonna have way more fat. Like I said earlier, fat is gonna have the most amount of calories, so it's an easy way to save. Now obviously when I say a leaner cut of meat, you could use something like chicken breast instead of this ground beef here, and that would save you a ton. But also you can just use leaner cuts of red meat if you wanna stick with red meat. Personally, I like to eat one meal of a fatty protein and one meal of a lean protein at least 
per day. That way I'm getting some sort of saturated fat and some sort of lean protein source. But for my fatty protein source, if I have a lot of calories, I might want something like a ribeye, which has a lot of fat, or if I have less fat to play with, I can use a leaner cut of red meat, like a flank steak or a top sirloin, or instead of using 80-20 ground beef, you can use 93-7 ground beef, or even 96-4 ground beef. The difference in fat content from, let's say, like a ribeye to a lean top sirloin can be, you know, 20 grams of fat or more depending on how big your serving size is. So that's a couple hundred calories that you could save and you could still eat steak. It might not be as good, you know, or as flavorful, but you could still eat the steak and you can still make it pretty good. You don't have to only eat chicken breast in order to save calories on your diet. The fourth way you can easily save on calories is using sugar-free sweetener. Instead of using sugar, whether it's white sugar or brown sugar, obviously it's, it's sugar and everybody kind of knows that's gonna help you put on weight because it's not very satiating, has a lot of calories, right? And a lot of recipes will call for sugar or if you wanna make some kind of dessert, obviously there's probably gonna be some sugar in there. But an easy way to deal with that is just substitute it for a sugar-free sweetener. You can use the powdered version of stevia, you can use monk fruit sweetener, you can use Splenda, whatever you really want. But in order to make some easy adjustments to recipes, I like to use the sugar-free sweeteners to replace sugar. It's not gonna be exactly the same. There's certain things that you can't do with it, but it can be a way that you can save a lot on calories if you wanna put it into your coffee or put it with your oatmeal or put it in certain recipes that call for a little bit of sugar like making a teriyaki sauce or something like that that's an easy way for you to save a bunch of calories, just switching to sugar-free sweetener. Or you can even use sugar-free syrups like this in your coffee. If you go to Starbucks or any other coffee place, they're gonna use a sugary syrup to put in your coffee to sweeten it. And if you like sugary coffee, like me, you can just go in and ask what sugar-free syrups they have available. And pretty much every Starbucks has sugar-free vanilla syrup. Some have cinnamon dolce, and then there's lots of other sugar-free syrups that you can use at coffee shops if you want to do that. And the fifth way that you can easily save on calories is just watch what sauces you use. Sauces can add up quickly depending on what it is. Like ketchup, for example, is five grams of carbs per serving, and most people use way more than one serving for whatever they're doing. So that can really add up over time. And even things like salad dressings. Most salad dressings, you know, people think that if I eat a salad, I'll be saving on calories, but most salad dressings are very high in fat. If you're getting a balsamic vinaigrette, a vinaigrette just means half oil, half vinegar. So oil, like we talked about earlier, all fat, balsamic vinegar is pretty high in carbs because it's sugary. Or like this miso dressing right here is high in fat. And then there's things like barbecue sauces and, and all that other stuff, like barbecue sauces, sugar-based, so there's lots of sugar in there and lots of carbs. So using these sauces can really add up because most people are not using just one serving size. You're using a few servings at least and if you do that multiple times a day that could be a couple hundred calories that you could save on right there so what i like to do is just go down the aisle of the grocery store and look at all the sauces and find the things that are low calorie that i can use on my food like salsas are great most hot sauces are pretty much zero or no calories salsas are good there's sugar-free versions of a lot of sauces like sugar-free barbecue sauce there's a lot of different sauces that you can use, I'm saying sauces a lot, that will save you on calories but allow you to still make your food flavorful. And But those are five super simple and easy ways for you to make adjustments to the foods that you already eat and save a ton on calories. Now it's important to remember that this is not, they're all not gonna be a one-to-one, -one. it's not gonna be exactly the same. Like eating a top sirloin versus a ribeye, it's not gonna be the same. Eat, drinking a regular can of Coke versus a Coke Zero, they're not gonna taste the same. But the point is, they should be good enough to give you variety and keep you going on your diet. So think about it in the sense that you're trying to make what you can eat as good as possible with as much variety as possible, but still make sure that you're eating less than your body needs so that you can burn fat and lose that weight that you're looking for. Well, hopefully that video was helpful for you. If you found some value in it and maybe you're gonna try one of these things or you've never thought of one of the things that I mentioned, leave a comment down below. And if you wanna see an example of what I eat in a day, you can click on this video here, but thanks for watching.